So next example, obtain the energy stored in each capacitor under DC conditions. So remember, at DC, so meaning the voltage is constant, the capacitor is a open circuit. So this figure right here becomes This is an open circuit. And we also have a open circuit right here. A 4K, 5K. Okay, and our current is 6 milliampere. So remember, the energy stored in a capacitor is given by 1 half TV squared. So we have the values of the capacitance. So now we will get the values of the voltages across the of each capacitor. So we need to get this voltage right here. So let's label this as V1 and this voltage right here V2. Now since the 5 uh, kilo ohm the 5 kilo ohm resistor is connected to an open circuit so the current flowing through here is zero. So zero amperes. So meaning the current at the 2K resistor and the 4K resistor is equal. If this is I, this is also I right here. So by CDT, I just equivalent to pk over 2k plus 4k plus 3k times 6 milli we have 2 milli amperes uh, voltage v1 is just equivalent to by Ohm's law is just 2k times i we have 2k times i so this is equivalent to 4 volts now for voltage v2 so we all know the current at the 5k resistor is zero so Voltage V2 is just equivalent to the voltage across the 4K resistor, 4 kilo ohm resistor. We have V2 equivalent to 4000 times I, so this is just equivalent to 8 volts. So, getting the energy stored at the first capacitor. For the 2 millifarad capacitor, we have 1 half times 2 times 10 to the power of negative 3. Times 4 squared. This is, this is equivalent to 16 millijoule. Then for the energy stored, the 4 millifarad capacitor we have 1 half times 4 times 10 to the power of negative 3 times 8 squared we have 1 to 8 millijoules now same with a resistor capacitors can be connected in series or in parallel now, if you take a look at the parallel connected 
capacitors for this figure right here. So if we apply KCL at this top node, we have equation is equal to I is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3 plus dot 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 until I n and then substituting the uh, equation for the current we have d1 dv over dt plus d2 dv 2 over dt plus d3 dv 3 over dt plus that, that, that until the current n so for parallel connected capacitors same with the resistor they have equivalent uh, voltage so v1 v2 v3 until vn is just equivalent to v so we have t1 plus t2 plus t3 plus that, that, that until t sub n times dv over dt where this expression right here is our t equivalent so for a capacitors connected in parallel the equivalent capacitance is just equivalent to the sum of all capacitors connected in parallel the same with the series connected resistors now if we take a look at a series connected capacitors so if we apply kvl at this loop so we can see that v is just equivalent to v1 plus v2 plus v3 plus until v sub n so if we substitute the equation for a voltage across a capacitor we have 1 over c1 integral of i1 dt plus 1 over c2 integral of i2 dt plus 1 over c3 integral of i3 dt plus dot 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 until until the nth capacitance now if we take a look at the series uh, connected elements they have the same current so this expression right here becomes 1 over c1 plus 1 over c2 plus 1 over c3 plus that 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 1 over c sub n and we have integral of i dt okay this expression right here is equivalent to 1 over the eq or the one over the equivalent capacitance so we have an example of getting the equivalent capacitance at this terminals a b we have capacitors that are connected in series and it is in parallel with these two capacitors and then in series again with the 60 microfarad capacitor so our equivalent capacitance just equivalent to 20 microfarad so next example uh, we want to get the equivalent capacitance at least uh, terminals we have 
these capacitors right here, capacitances or capacitors are connected in series, and it it is in parallel with this 20 microfarad capacitor, and then it is in series with this two capacitors that are in parallel. We have equivalent capacitance as equivalent to 40 microfarad. The next example, get the values of V1, V2, V3, and V4. So how do we get the values of V1, V2, V3, and V4? So first, let's simplify the circuit by getting the equivalent capacitance. We have 90 volts connected to equivalent capacitance. P EQ, which is equivalent to 20 micro farad. Now remember, charge of the capacitor or the total charge of the capacitor is given by Q over Q is equal to the equivalent times voltage. We have Q of 1.8 milli columns. If this is simplified into an equivalent circuit, an equivalent capacitance, the total charge is just the charge in this 40 microfarad capacitor. So for, for, for V1, we have, let's label this as QT, have QT is equivalent to 40 micro times V1. So we have the value of QT, we can now solve for v1 so v1 is just equivalent to 45 volts now how how do we get the value of uh, v2 so we can now get the value of v2 using kvl here so by kvl AVL at 1, we have negative 90 plus V1 plus V2 equivalent to 0. So we have V2 equivalent to 45 volts. Now, how do we solve for the value of V3 and V4? Now, you can use this uh, similar process by getting the charge that is in the 60 microfarad capacitor and the 30 microfarad capacitor. So, their charges are the same because they are connected in series. Let's label the charge as Q2. Q2 is just equivalent to the equivalent resistance, I mean the equivalent capacitance. So we have 60 in series with 30, so that is equivalent to 20, mic 20 micro times what is the voltage across the two capacitors. So the voltage across the two capacitors is just equivalent to V2. So 
let's just draw this circuit to have a better view. So this is V1 and this is V2. This is the 20 microfarad capacitor. So the voltage across the 20 microfarad capacitor, which is the combination of 30, I mean 60 microfarad in series with a 30 microfarad, is just equivalent to V2. So we have Q2 is just equivalent to 20 micro times 45. So this is equivalent to 0 0.9 millicoulomb. So now we can now solve for uh, V3 and V4 using this equation. Now for Q2 just equivalent to 60 micro times V3. So V3 is just equivalent to in volts. Now for V4 still have V2 equal to 30 micro times V4. So V4 is equivalent to 30 volts. Or we can get the value of V4 by applying KVL at this loop. We have we have negative V2 plus V3 plus V4 equal to 0. So we have the value of V2 and V3, we can now we can get the value of V4, which is still equal to 30 volts.